Happy Friday, Silks! So, I was thinking about something when I was on the phone with my sister earlier today, and it's that thing where, say you're looking for something, and you don't know where it is, you've looked around for a while, and then once you ask someone, before they even tell you where it is, you then find it. Okay, I was trying to figure out what that was. And it's not Murphy's Law, because Murphy's Law is if something can go wrong, it will go wrong, as we've all seen in pretty much every crime movie ever. So I looked it up on the internet, and I couldn't find out what it was. Like, Google just would not tell me. Welcome to the 21st century, where, you know, even I'm dependent on technology. But in trying to find what it was, I came across something called an epigram. We've all heard of them, we just don't know that they're called epigrams. And here is what an epigram is. According to Webster's Dictionary, an epigram is a bright or witty thought tersely and ingeniously expressed. In short, an epigram is a brief, memorable statement that is often satirical or funny. So, I went through the internet, and I found 10 epigrams that I would like to share with you that are some of my favorites as of this morning. So, without further ado, here they are. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Ogden Nash. Here's one from Jon Stewart. I don't approve of political jokes. I've seen too many of them get elected. Here's one I'm sure we've all heard from Gandhi. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. This is one from someone who decided they didn't want to be named, so we'll just call them unknown. War does not determine who is right, but who is left. Now I've heard this quote from someone else. I think it was Winston Churchill, but the internet told me it was Confucius. So, here it is. Choose a job you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. Which is something we should all learn from and live by. I don't want to do something I don't want to do. You shouldn't either. If you can't be a good example, you'll just have to be a horrible warning. Catherine the Great. Here's one from Edith Sitwell, which is arguably the best last name I have ever heard. If you think you're too small to make an impact, try going to bed with a mosquito is by a guy named Will Rogers, who I actually did a report on in fifth grade. Even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. Now, as you guys probably know, I do love a good spoonerism. So here is one from a woman named Dorothy Parker. I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. And here's where I get to pull out one of my voices. Here's one from Bill Cosby. A word of the wise ain't necessary. It's the stupid ones who need all the advice. So there you have it, Silks. Those are my top ten epigrams for your Friday. Don't forget to be awesome, and I will see you guys on Monday.